And so this is one of your short barrel annihilators, short barrel marauders. And it's a late model because it has the knurling on the back of the bolt. What's the finish that you have on this? The finish is a black oxide. Black oxide. Yeah. And it also has your rail on top. Well, the rail and everything is on top, kind of just for looks. Uh -huh. Plus, you know, it's cut back here and everything to be able to put a scope on it or yeah. the slot and everything to be able to put a stock sight. Uh -huh. The raisable Sheridan sight, right? The stand, you know, the standard one. Yeah. And one of the other tricks that you can do to make it easier to get to the screw is you drill a hole right in here so the screwdriver can go down straight into it uh -huh. and you don't strip the head of the screw up all the time. Uh -huh. Awesome. Makes it makes it a lot simpler to take it on and apart. Yeah, you also have your quick strip notch. Here. Oh, the, the cleaning notch. So, would you always cut that in the left hand side? It's always on the same side. Yeah. Because the standard bolt, because of the lock pin for pulling the bolt back to lock for the firing bolt, uh -huh. it comes back. Yeah. So it it comes out this side from the standard you know standard gun, uh -huh. and then cut it all the way so this can come out real easy for quick cleaning yeah and one of the other deals is see how big this hole is uh-huh is to let the gas go through easier yeah and then you got all this distance of the chamber here before it comes out here so the gas can push the ball without being pinpoint real hard all at one shot plus i used to step hone the barrel right in here would be the, you know for the holding the ball in place uh -huh. then it, it would open up three to four thousandths as you go out yeah so it the ball as is expanding is expanding in the bolt it, it's expanding and goes through the barrel up here which don't have the drag in it uh -huh. so when it comes out the ball when it starts to go back into its natural position isn't pushing all in just one spot which will cause the ball to cup which then, they, when hitting it, will cause the ball to spin and throw the ball off track. Hmm. For this one is I have you know cut out because I got to finish the other part for my quick change, which the pump goes up, mm -hmm. which you know I couldn't find any of the ones I had laying around to, yeah. to bring. And you also have your ball but you can take out. this and you could put a constant air to it, okay. or you can use just a stock 12 gram CO2. Instead of having to pull this all the way out, once it gets out so far, then it will drop, you know, drop out. And for the bolt, the little groove here in the back is so you can come down, which then this can't come out. So when you're pumping, it's, everything can move freely. Uh, you have a little bit of movement there, but it's still locked in place. Yeah, it's still, it locks it in place, but it, it can still float back and forth and side to side. And it's not putting... A lot of pressure on everything uh -oh. makes it smoother for going back and forth cool thanks Stan. <laughs>